The city of Limassol, with a growing population, a burgeoning tourist industry, and an increasingly severe water shortage. When the Cyprus Water Authority decided to tackle this problem, it called on subsea infrastructure and fluence. With years of experience, Fluence provided an innovative solution. A seawater desalination plant at Moni, then to be a temporary facility. It's taken six months to build this plant from, uh, from start to, com to completion. This is a world record. If we were to build a permanent desalination plant, it would take years. The Moni facility receives seawater from an intake pipe located 1.5 kilometers offshore. After undergoing coarse and ultra-filtration, the water is placed in storage tanks. In the facility's reverse osmosis section, salt is removed from the water, which then goes into another holding tank before flowing out to the national water grid. We currently draw in 2,500 cubic meters of seawater per hour. We convert roughly 40 to 43 percent of this to drinking water. In total, the facility outputs some 22,000 cubic meters of drinking water per day. When you compare that to the average one liter bottle, 22 million liters is a lot. As a result of this plant, um, the, the water shortage in Limassol has been severely reduced. They don't have water cuts on, uh, on a weekly basis anymore. No compromises have been made at all with the short time it's taken to build this plant. The quality of the water we produce is excellent. In fact, we have tested it against water bought in the shop, and ours is better. I'm happy to say this, ours is a lot better. One interesting aspect of the Moni facility is its modular construction. It's all containerized. It is actually a mobile desalination plant. At the end of the contract, this can be disassembled and re relocated anywhere in the world. In five years, when this plant is removed, there will be no footprint left whatsoever.